We're now going to come back to our greenhouse effect simulation, but this time we're going to click on the photon absorption tab. We're going to be studying how different photons, infrared or heat photons and visible light photons, interact with different gases in our atmosphere. So the five gases that we're going to be looking at are CH4 or methane. Methane is the gas given off by farts and decomposing organic material. CO2 or carbon dioxide. You've probably heard of this one. This is the gas that we exhale and plants inhale. H2O or water vapor. This is where all of our weather comes from in the atmosphere. N2 or nitrogen. Nitrogen makes up most of our atmosphere. Our atmosphere is about 78% nitrogen gas. And lastly, oxygen. It's about 20% of our atmosphere, and it's the gas that us and most other living things need in order to stay alive. Over here on the right, you've also got a picture of each of these molecules, so what the actual, what models of the actual gases themselves look like. We're going to be looking at each of these gases independently and in combination with each other later on in this section of the lesson. So when you select one of the gases, a picture of that molecule appears in this box here. Then we can turn up the intensity of the flashlight. This just affects how many photons come out of the flashlight at any given time, like the rate of photon emission from the flashlight. And you click play and you watch and you see what happens. And you're going to be recording what happens to the photons and the molecules as they interact with each other. So do the photons pass through the molecules? Do the photons hit the molecules? Do the, do the molecules wiggle when the photons hit them? Do the photons bounce around the box after they hit the photon? That kind of thing. That's the data we're gonna be collecting in this part of the simulation. Now, eventually you're gonna to get to the point where you have to build your own atmosphere. So you're gonna click on build atmosphere and you can adjust the concentration or amount of each gas within the box here, or within our atmosphere. Your data table is gonna give you specifics on how many of each molecule you want to include, pardon me, when it comes to this part. We're gonna be looking at both atmospheres with high concentrations of greenhouse gases and low concentrations of greenhouse gases. So just make sure that you follow the directions in this part of the assignment very closely and make sure you do what it says to do in the data table. Then when you're done with this section of the assignment, part 2B, you can close out of this tab because we're done with the simulation and you can move on to part 3.